special presentation of ABC Sports. There are many memories made in 30 years. Every inch says this is a fine car constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, the human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sport. <laughs> Through several wars and half a lifetime, from black and white to living color, on all the continents and in scores of countries, Wide World of Sport has taken you on the longest journey in television sports history. Today we celebrate. Today we remember our 30 years on the move. Your host for ABC's Wide World of Sport 30th Anniversary Special, Jim McKay and Frank Gifford. Good afternoon. In early April of 1961, I was covering the Masters Golf Tournament for CBS when I got a phone call from a man I had never met named Rune Arlich. He wanted me to be the host for a 20-week summer replacement series featuring a variety of sports, and he said, a good deal of travel. Well, 20 weeks has turned into 30 years, and we're still traveling, looking for the constant variety of sport. It's beginning to look like steady work. Well, the world, believe me, little noted our first show on April 29th, 1961. To put things in the perspective of time, John F. Kennedy had just been inaugurated. The Soviets had just put the first man in space. Roger Maris had just one home run in the early weeks of the baseball season. Nobody would have guessed that Maris would break Babe Ruth's record that year, or certainly that Wide World would still be around today. As you'll see in a moment, they are all a lot younger, haircuts were shorter, and television was as simple as black and white. Today's exciting show launches ABC's Wide World of Sport, a new and exciting global 